guys, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a new product to share with y'all, which is the new Dynamic Glitter Brushes. Now, these are a really fun set of brushes that basically, not only are you getting a cool scattered um, brush that you can use with anything, um, but also this really neat effect, which will take your foreground and background colors and apply sort of a, a, a hue jitter between them, so you get this really fun, unique, um, realistic glitter effect. And you know me, I, I have gotten you guys a lot of different shapes. Now this is shown on a 12 by 12 little canvas. Um, so I imagined large particle glitter and also tiny like little fine particle glitter. And what I love about this is each little um, piece the color changes slightly. Um, I'm going to teach you how to, to edit that in Photoshop Elements as well. You can also do it in um, Creative Cloud to really uh, customize this to be exactly as you want it. So without further ado, I have just like a, a little background paper here. I'm going to add a layer up above it. And I'm, I'm just going to like dive right in. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a foreground color like this pink maybe a little softer pink, a super soft pink. And then I'm going to choose a blue that's a deeper kind of tealy blue. All right, next up, I'm going to go to my brushes. I have already loaded my brushes here, but again, you can always do that just by going to File, Open, um, your new product, you know, there, Dynamic Glitter Brushes, boom, there they are. And um, you can find them in your drop down. So you see there, and I've started making new ones. You can save um, some of these edits for yourself that you make, you know, which is a good time as well. So I'm going to choose the Large Heart Glitter Brush 1, and I'm just going to kind of show you what happens uh, with the, the, the different types of brush. So here we have the first type of brush, and then the second type, it's going to keep the colors truer to the hues that are there. It might not have as much contrast, because you can tell these two colors are a little more um, toned out. So it'll, it depends on the color, how much contrast you have, where the first type of brush kind of forces that contrast within the brush settings. Um, so for example, if I wanted it to be brighter, I would up that pink level a bit more and with that type and I'd get, you know, a little bit more, but even still, it, it's not gonna look nearly as contrasty as the first one. As you see here and that's when I added that that deeper pink it's even more of a oomph situation now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in pretty close because we're going to play around and uh, edit with these now I'm gonna change this green to be a little bit more of a blue color like that let's see how this looks oh that's lovely it looks like 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 something you'd see in Little Mermaid or something all right you, you know, guys, I have three daughters, so of course I always go very like, glitter, girls, yay! Glitter is for everyone. Glitter is friends, not food. Um, so here we have, I have my two colors picked out, and now I'm going to show you how you can edit these brushes even more to make them as you want. So within here, you have your brush settings. Now this is um, Creative, not Creative Cloud, this is Photoshop Elements 2021. You can do the hue jitter. Now this is going to change how much... Um, how, how far your program is going between the foreground and background color. Meaning if you have it at 0%, it is only going to um, play with the saturation and brightness level of the foreground color, like this, right? That's what you get. Now that's set at 0%. So I like to keep that one, if I'm doing two different colors, I want to keep that at 100% because I want it to go fully between that pink and that blue to get this effect, right? So that's what that one does. I'm going to step back a little bit and give us some space. All right, next up is the scatter. The scatter is how far out, up and down, if you want to think of it that way, um, that our particles go. So right now we're set at 29%. If I pull it in to maybe 12%, you'll see where it becomes almost so thin, like, like, like a little, imagine that you have glitter glue, you know, it's, it's keeping it in really close. And in fact, if you wanted to be even more like glitter glue, you would make the scale smaller. You would make it really small like that. Ta -da! I always do L's. I'm sorry, because Leah. All right. So let's kind of, I'm going to move back to what we had before. 
here we are, yes. So um, again, the scatter is how close or far away. So if I set it 100%, look at that brush, right? So that's laying down an amount that if it was real glitter, we would be finding particles in the carpet for five years after, for sure. Uh, <laughs> So imagine um, the scatter, it's taking it out, up and down. Next up, we have our spacing. The spacing is what's pulling these particles in close together from right to left. So if I pull it in fully, this is going to look a little crazy. Look, see how long it's, it's like, I have to render forever. But yeah, what a pile. Right? So an easy do it way to do like little polka dot glitter if you pulled that spacing in. And also in the opposite sense, if we, it goes up to a thousand percent. So this is everything at like a hundred percent, which is one of the things I like to do when I'm testing a brush is to just take these, these slides and just go all the way one way or all the way the other to get a real feel for what it looks like. So this is what that looks like. So just little sprinkly scatter of, of, of this glitter. So then if I, again, scale it down even more in size, I get this little dusting, this little fairy dusting of, of glitter. I just love it. I love it. So that's how that works. Now, once you have a brush that you like, you know, that you've kind of edited to, to work for whatever project you're working on, don't forget to go. And um, you'll see that with a little drop down, you have this little tiny guy right here and save the brush. So I'm going to do like tiny heart sprinkles. All right. Now, from here, you can just call it done or you could always add a style. Now, my styles for glitter are typically set to be little particles themselves, um, but that's not to say it won't look good. So I'm going to pause real quick. I'm going to load up a style and I'll be right back. So um, I've loaded some styles. These are glittery styles, and I'm trying to find the one in here that is just um, an effect over the top. Like you can see these are adding bevels. So there we go. So you can see there you could add a style on top to get a whole other effect on top of it. So don't be afraid to use these with styles as well because I kind of love how that looks, right? Like, that's such a fun look. All right, uh, let's see. I, I, I can't help myself. Let's go for it. I'm going to do the 12. I'm going to do the, the B style. Let's see what this looks like. Ah, come on. That's fun. I love it. All right. So, yeah, that's that's this set. Don't be afraid to play around. Use styles. Um, glitter styles for sure. Use glitter styles with these glitter brushes and get these really neat brand new effects. Why not? Um, but, yeah, that's it. That's this new product. I hope you love it as much as I do. I can't wait to see what y'all make with it. It's like I get no bigger rush than seeing people use my products to create new things. It just it it completes me. Well, I mean my children and my husband, but this definitely way up there on the list. So I hope you guys enjoy. Can't wait to see what you do and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>